Hey everyone, this is Josh Smith with Notebooks.com. Today we're going to do a pretty cool upgrade to our HP DB6 that we have here. We have an Intel SSD. This is an 80 gig SSD drive from Intel and we've already used the free Intel SSD migration tool to copy all of our contents of our hard drive including our Windows installation over onto here. It took about an hour with the free tool. Uh, we did have to cut away some of the stuff because we're going from a 500 gigabyte hard drive to an 80 gig drive. Uh, the trade-off in size should bring us some pretty good performance gains. So I'm going to show you how you put this in the HP DB6. should be pretty similar to uh, most other modern notebooks. Your first step, make sure it's turned off, powered off, pull the battery out, flip it over, and look on the bottom. You'll have one spot that should stand out, you might see a little symbol for a hard drive, like three small cylinders. And so we're going to take a small screwdriver, and remove that. So we'll set that aside, and now we have access to our hard drive. You want to make sure that you're careful with this, don't drop it. Um, you might have a pull tab. Some of them will slide right out. Ours will pull out. We'll make sure we don't lose any of these little blue things. And we actually have a, a small cable. So we'll undo the cable and that's what we'll attach to our uh, new hard drive. So here's our old hard drive. Same physical size, uh, just different storage size. Uh, next thing we need to do is pop this little case off. You may or may not have a small case on yours. And we'll come back after these screws are all out and we got the new hard drive in. Alright, after you get your hard drive all screwed together, next step, put your connector back in place, just like that, and slide it back in. Make sure it's in there securely. And yours may just slide in and kind of lock, and it may have some screws. Uh, this has a, I think HP calls it the Protect Smart system, so that's why we have these bumpers here uh, that provide a little bit of extra protection. And after we get that in, we'll just get this seated in here and start screwing these back together. Make sure we get them in tight, everything's where it needs to be and there we go we have our SSD in and since we cloned it should be able to boot Windows right up uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to show you what that looks like and then we're going to stick this in an external enclosure that way we have some extra storage and we'll show you uh, another SSD that we have in on hand to uh, test uh, to show you how you can take the storage with you without having to attach something via USB Hey, this is Josh again with Notebooks.com. We just got the Intel SSD installed, and so we're going to boot the computer up here just to kind of show you how fast we get into Windows. Now, uh, I didn't time it beforehand uh, with the old hard drive, but you'll notice here, once we get going, we're at the HP screen, and I think from here it's about maybe five seconds till we're into Windows, maybe a little bit longer. Starting up. Looks like we're about 10 seconds now. Welcome to Windows. Felt faster the first time, I guess. Um, but as you can tell, it took about maybe 10 15 seconds till we're into Windows. And we'll launch something here. We got some programs starting up. Chrome opens up just fine. 
Let's open something a little more taxing. Vegas Movie Studio. And that's going to go up on the second monitor over here. Kind of go through pretty fast. So, I just kind of wanted to show you how fast some things boot up. Um, I don't have any other real crazy intensive programs to run on here right now to show you the speed, but we'll be doing some testing, moving some files around, and just kind of seeing overall performance wise. So far, in the past about 10 15 minutes of using it, it seems to be noticeably faster to me. And just kind of want to give you a sneak peek at how we manage to keep all of our media with us. We have from my digital discount a express card SSD. This is 128 gigabytes. So the hard drive we have inside is only 80, but we have 128 gig here, and these come up to 256 gigabyte. Slide right in an express card 34 slot. So we'll be giving you a full rundown of those sometime in the near future. Uh, but again, this is Josh Smith with Notebooks.com showing you our Intel SSD.